Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this episode of Logic. Now, the fallacy of composition is the topic of this video. It's a fallacy of grammatical analogy, which means that it occurs in an argument that is grammatically similar to other non fallacious arguments. Now, the fallacy of composition is committed when the arguer wrongly transfers an attribute from the part of something onto the whole. The following illustration will provide an example. Frank, I'd like to make you dinner. Okay, that'd be great. What are your favorite foods? Well, I like spinach, uh, pizza, and vanilla ice cream. I've been wanting to try my new blender. Dinner is at six. Ding. Here is a new recipe of a delicious soup. How do you like it? Oh, that is disgusting. You like the ingredients, therefore you should like the meal. Hmm. Well, let's take a closer look at what just happened. Now, Cindy argues that the parts are tasty to Frank the spinach, peach, and ice cream, and therefore the whole should be tasty to Frank, the mixture of these parts. But just because the parts are delicious does not mean that the whole is delicious. And in this case, the whole is a blended slop of contrasting flavors, which is usually not delicious. Now, Cindy's argument is fallacious because she has incorrectly transferred the attributes of deliciousness from the parts to the whole. And to continue strengthening your critical thinking skills, see our other videos on logic. Comment, like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.